one of the things I admire most about him is his um, consistent prayer life. Uh, he gets up early in the morning, just like Jesus, to pray, and um, he prays late at night, and uh, consistently, day after day, uh, week after week, um, praying for people, uh, praying for me, praying for uh, many people in this church. He gets up every morning really early just to pray. Just every single day. I wouldn't be able to do that. He's always uh, the, the first person to step up to the sink to wash the dishes and uh, to make sure whatever job needs to be done, uh, he's willing to do that. The thing that makes him probably most unique of anything is that he hates the Dallas Cowboys. I mean, even if he's busy, he'll drop what he's doing. And if somebody needs something or, or asks for something, he's always there. He's invested in our lives, our kids' lives. He's been one of the strongest men in my life, the strongest godly man I know. Unconditional love, joy, peace, patience, kind-heartedness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. And this is who this man is. I have seen him work with numerous people that no one else would come close to with a 10-foot pole um, and just love them and accept them and teach them and put them under his wing um, and have, him, have them follow him um, and teach them what it's like to really be loved by God. Uh, when I think of evangelizing, I think of him. He will go anywhere. There's no one that he will not help. He invites people into his home. He hasn't met a stranger that he won't talk to about God. He can take someone where they are and love them for who they are um, and move them from a place of, of darkness to a place of light and do it very gently, very patiently. He's really, really tall and I think that's awesome. The other thing I would say is that uh, there's a, a depth of spirituality that he really um, wants to share with people and help people along that journey to grow. He's very uh, acutely aware of other people's needs. I feel like he is a, a really good mentor of Christ. So yeah, he doesn't do anything that we in the society have now evolved to. I don't even think he texts. He doesn't pursue the American dream. He's not pursuing more comfort, more of an ease of the American life. He doesn't have an air conditioner, he doesn't have a TV, and I could not live without those two things. Um, he doesn't live his life the way everyone else does. He is not concerned about money or status or what the world views as important. He is worried about people's souls and that they know Christ and that they live for Christ. Well, I feel like that he doesn't care about how he has his life here because he knows that he's going to have it better later. But my citizenship is in heaven, and I eagerly await a Savior from there, the Lord Jesus Christ. Who by the power that enables him to bring everything under his control will transform my lowly body so that it will be like His glorious body.